Hey there, welcome to Game Horror Game. We're getting right back into it. Seven Days to Die, Permadeath, Roguelike Mode. Uh, the days are very short, and the Blood Moons are very frequent. So, let's get going. We're just starting. Uh, the birds are hovering above me. We're in the wasteland. There's a POI right on the edge of it, and I'm going to try to clean it out um, with this day. It will definitely be a Horde Night, so I should establish a way to get to a roof first, probably. But, uh, you know me, I'm probably going to forget about the time of day and uh, end up paying the price for it. I really hate... You know what? I'd rather these things see me. I want them to see me so that I can kill them off. Yeah, come on. God damn it. Stop floating around. You're really freaking me out. Okay, I gotta get moving. There's no time to fuck with the birds, okay? Don't mind lockpicks. I might, uh... Lockpicks would speed things up substantially if I if I want to get into like the the higher end drops and stuff like that. So maybe I should be uh, maybe I should also try to level up lock picking. It's just it's really hard to decide where you want to put the few points you're getting off the start here. All right, where's where's the sneaky zombies? There he is. Don't get up. No, just don't get up. All right, there we go. Let's get this little shack looted. I'm finding a ton of sandwiches. Um, we did find one of the uh, airdrops last time. Trap crafting. Stun baton send zombies flying. Unfortunately, I've got a baton. Or I've got a club, not a stun baton. Um, yeah, we did find one of the drops last time, which uh, gave us like bacon and eggs. So that's a nice drop. So far, I haven't had to use. So far, I haven't had to use any of my food. So. All right, we just pissed off some some zombies for real. Where are they? Where are you at? Oh, you're. I can hear you. Stop rubbing my bush, okay? Get out of my bush! Look, I know. I just moved here. Maybe I maybe I can't lay claim to that bush, but um, I I still don't want you in it. Get out of my bush. Um. Oh man, sweet Gazabo. Oh man. Oh man, and it's got all kinds of rocks. Uh, that's exactly what I uh, like. That's uh, that's what I like to find in my gazebo. Look, are, are you screeching at me? You screeching at me, sucker? <laughs> Who else wants to fight? Okay, come here. Oh man, the birds are just so unnerving. They're 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 weighing on my mind so badly. Another drop. I don't know, man. Maybe I should be prioritizing that, but I don't think I should run out into the middle of the woods um, with nowhere to hide. Okay. Let's get going. Let's get this building emptied out. Um, oh, yeah, right. So, if we find... Ow! What? How? Zombies should not be that silent. Throw me a freaking bone. Why doesn't he have a footstep sound? Did he just walk down the stairs? This is an old house with stairs. There is no way. No human alive could walk down stairs like this without it making a single creak. You fucking kidding me, zombie? <laughs> Stealthy asshole. Oh, man. Always gotta check the walls for stuff. Oh, I'm hungry. Uh, I guess it's high time I eat 36 food. I'm gonna save that for the health bonus. Oh, wait. Do I have any other options? I don't think I do. No, I don't. Alright, so it looks like we're eating that. And then we'll use our waters, which is going to give me 20 twice over. Alright, so a little worrying at this point. Um, a little worrying that I'm low on supplies. Last time, uh, we had great luck with supplies. But, um, you know, I did spend the first day just like in a tower. So maybe... Uh, Maybe now that we're in a house that'll definitely have a kitchen, we'll be able to find a little bit more food. All right. All right. I'll see ya. Stay dead. Die, okay? I gotta look at my levels, see if I've leveled up at all, because um, I would be a lot more... Con <laughs> look at my guy's helmet. Um, I could be a lot more confident if I was one-shotting zombies more often. Pummel Pete can't afford it. Uh, do I have any actual points? I've got one. Alright, so that's going into strength. Who is that? And why? Okay, they're just outside. 
the, the, they'll probably just get me away outside. Burning shaft schematic. Um, yeah, I could think of a few ways to get a burning shaft. <laughs> we won't talk about them here. Um, oh, man. That, those two were in there. That, that's what they were working on. Um, anything in here? No, nothing of value in there. Not for me, anyway. Okay, that's a problem. I gotta go maybe deal with that right away. Uh, if nighttime kicks in, that will be extra zombies. So, and it does, it freaks me out because I don't, oh my god, what the fuck is that? Okay. Let's see if we can't uh, snipe that thing in. That's a bear over there. Um, I just noticed there's a bear. Uh, is he gonna come after me when the blood moon triggers? I'm in, uh, no, no, no. You know what? We need to kill these, we need to kill these things and get the fuck under the roof. Okay, is that all of them? Give me my iron arrow. Okay, so this was just like a horde that wandered in them, wasn't it? It's time. It's time to go to the roof. Um, not okay. Um, how tough is this building's walls? 500. Okay. Uh, gonna have to do, because I can't be confident they won't make it up through the house to get to me. Um, so I'm, this is gonna have to be the spot. Uh, it doesn't offer a lot of cover, but it is an early horde night. So hopefully we don't get... Um, anything too crazy. I don't know if being... Oh, man. If that bear activates because of Horde Knight, I don't know if I can survive. Oh, man. I really don't want to die here. Is that bear going to activate? Let's see. Horde Knight is on. Okay. The, the bear itself seems to be relaxed. A uh, lot of... A lot of friends coming in from the hillside. Oh, my God. Okay, I hear dogs. That bear is still just kind of slow walking over there, so that's fine. Um, I'm going to take one of my blocks back since they're going to break them. Oh my god. The sound this is making. We're fine, though. We only got to... We, we just got to... Uh, we just got to survive up here for a few minutes. A couple minutes have to pass, and we're super safe. There's nothing can go wrong. They're barely even hurting the building beneath me. They're probably just dancing around under directly below me. In fact, hmm, what if I were to take a look? Uh, I see blocks going flying. That's generally not a good thing you want to see uh, when you're hiding on a building for dear life. Okay. Okay, that's very unnerving how now they're breaking the trees. Um, this night cannot end soon enough. I have very low confidence in this building now. Oh my god, they might actually rip the building down. Um, okay. Oh boy, only like another 60 seconds to go. Please stop. Please don't kill me. Okay. No, wait, those ones are being stupid, so let's see if I can get some, uh, see if I can get some XP, because I do get more XP for kills at night. My luck, the building will fall down underneath me. Oh, that's a very good thing to get. Those yellow bags can have super key items in them. I'm trying to get headshots so I don't uh, waste all my arrows. And it's going pretty well, honestly. Um, oh, man. Yeah, keep going over there. The dog is going to be a problem. That's my main concern right now. When we hit daytime, all the other, all the zombies are going to get pretty slow. Oh my god. I want that bag, and they're all going over to it. Yeah, when we hit daytime, the zombies are all going to get slow, but that, uh... The old dog is still going to remain quite fast. Oh my god. What the fuck just happened? Oh my god. What are we doing is that is that a dog or a wolf okay now i need to cut the roof to check oh my god what a fucking mess okay that's a dog so can i get a few shots squeezed off at him so that i don't get run down all right doggy if you could go somewhere where i can see you and oh my god there goes the building that's a bear don't go that way 
The building uh, just barely lasted the night. Holy shit. Um, that's multiple dogs. This is gonna get ugly. Okay, time it. Just time it. Power attack. Yes! Okay, we got this. Um, that's level 8. Hey, right. come on. You guys ain't got shit on me. Okay, I'm gonna clean them out. I'm gonna clean them out. I'm gonna get some huge levels. And it's gonna be awesome. I'm just really paranoid that dog is going to come over here. I know there was another one. And we might get some really clutch, like, yellow bag drops. Or some loot bag drops, I guess. Um, my stamina is holding up. So, like, this is pretty good. This is great for me, honestly. Okay, just make sure they're dead. Okay. They're golden. And I know I almost ran that way is the funny part. Okay, time it. No, oh, he stopped! He fucking dinked me out! Oh, okay. We got it. 78 health. Doing great. That guy's got no leg. Nice jump, though. I, I think that's funny as hell. Okay, that guy's gone. Let's take one of my blocks back. Look at this. That building barely, barely made it through the night. Oh, man, and it's another horde night. Um, okay, harvesting tool crafting skill. That's good. We got some 7.62, so we'll be able to uh, either make a pipe machine gun or a pipe rifle. I'm not certain which one I want to go with, but what I am certain of um, is that it's time to get the fuck out of the uh, out of the wasteland. This is not a tenable position to be in, and it's going to get me killed. I need to leave. All right, let's have a look at our map. Do we have any evidence of anything that we can use here? I don't think so, but um, I gotta get away from this wasteland. It, it will absolutely get me killed. Um, die. Um, it would even... I, you know what? Hold on. What do we got here? Uh, can I take another healing factor? Can I take another healing factor if I have one more point? No. What about cardio? No. Alright, in that case, Pummel Peak gets acquired. Minor 69er gets acquired, and that's going to be good enough for now. Let's get moving. I do have slightly better stamina. Oh, my God, glue. Um, uh, that's pipe. Pipe machine gun. Oh, my God. Wait, what? Can't craft it. I need one more glue. Okay, I'm going to wait. I'm going to see if I can wait for the other glue and uh, see how that goes. But for now, we're going to follow this road. And all right, so this is a main road. Where does this go? ends over here so uh, yeah we'll go this way then i want to see if i can try to find a town generally the towns have tougher buildings in them oh take that wood uh generally the towns have tougher buildings in them and that's gonna make a huge difference can i make a better club yet let's have a look no we're still at level one club so that means i'm just gonna repair this one make sure i don't uh get caught off guard with no weapon all right, there we go. Crawl her down. Are we going to find anything in the shopping cart? No, we're not. Let's keep her moving. Uh, my food and water are becoming a bit of a concern. I don't have the medical supplies uh, to offset dysentery and stuff like that. So um, we in it right now. It's a... This... We are far from established. These cars be really incredible. This is quite a few cars right here. All right, what do we get? Uh, car crafting, not really what I'm looking for, and some brass, not gonna, not gonna help. That's not what we need. Come on, give me something. Some glue would be cool, or literally anything I need to survive. Uh, nope, that group of cars gave us fuck all. Let's see if we can smash that guy. So I got Pummel Pete, and I've got strength upgraded now a bit, so that's definitely gonna help me out. I'm looking for more of that. Yes, lock picks. Um, with my combat skills leveled up, there's our glue. All right, let's go. Um, what is it? Uh, pipe machine gun. Uh, what is the deal with this one? What does this one shoot? Uh, chamber nine mil. Oh, so this one shoot. That one's the nine mil. Um, I don't have any nine mil. So we're going to go with pipe machine gun. And it's already tier two even. Uh, that's really nice. All right, gotta get moving. Can't can't be sitting still. 
And we did, in fact, find a town. I'm curious. I am reusing, since I didn't get very far in the last two runs, I've, I am reusing the map. Normally, I reset it so that there's no way I can become uh, familiar with the map. But, um, like I say, where I didn't really uh, get very far or get into much of the areas, I'm not going to spend the time to regenerate uh, a different map when I, I like, <laughs> just barely dip my toes in it. All right, we have a night coming, so it's time to try to find some kind of stone building or something that will offer us some kind of protection for the evening. Um, as we saw in the last night, a small wooden building is very unlikely to survive. Uh, so like that barn over there, maybe not a good choice. Also, it's a barn, so it's almost guaranteed to have either hogs or dogs. Hogs, dogs, logs, it's got it all. Um, <laughs> we gotta get somewhere safe. And so far, all I'm seeing is wooden buildings. However, a big enough host would do it. Um, like going in here and chopping off the stairs is a decent idea. So I'm gonna scan around the outside real quick to see if there's any ways uh, to climb up the outside of the house easily. So we're looking for, like, stacks of garbage and shit like that. Um, stuff like that. Sorry, I am going to try to reduce my swearing levels. Um, ooh, chicken! Gimme! Now, the reason I actually want the chicken is just so I can have lots and lots of feathers. I don't have time! Holy shit! What am I doing? Knock down this door immediately. Alright, in we go. Yes, we're sprinting. Um... Oh, hey, I think I've hidden in a house exactly like this before. Uh, I did make it through the night. Okay, this is this was like my OG hideout from like the first video, I think. All right, do we got it? I think we got it. Uh, yes, I think we have it. Uh, that'll, that'll do. Uh, uh, yes, that will have to do. Let's get out a torch. Let's have a look around up here because uh, this place needs to be cleaned out. You know what? The floors could be weak, though. I need to be careful with what I'm doing here. Oh, shit. I was sneaking. I should not have been sneaking, because now the sleepers don't wake up. Okay. We are gonna need, one, to put bullets in this gun. Oh, my Jesus. The sounds of the zombies are so goddamn terrifying. Um... And two, we're going to hang out and maybe just try to defend the stairway a little bit. Maybe we'll make some arrows. And we'll just, you know, listen to the sultry sounds of zombies freaking the fuck out. I'm going to chop this out so that I can jump out the window if I need to. Oh my god, what hit me? Oh, a piece of garbage fell on my head. Ow. That was like the curtains landed on my head and severely injured me. And you know what? Speaking of injury, oh man, I hate to do it when I'm not bleeding, but I gotta apply a bandage. Do I have any food? I have raw meat, and I've got sham sandwiches. Oh man, it's a real choice to eat a sham sandwich, because you can it messes you up. It has a 12% chance of dysentery. Um, I don't know, man. I gotta hold out. I gotta hold out, and maybe I'll... Uh, if I hold out, maybe I can uh, find some quality food instead. I'm just realizing how easy it is for them to uh, get to that and hit it. But if I chop it now, I think there's a jumping a way for them to all jump up. I don't know, man. I, I gotta kind of hang out. Not many of them are getting directly to here, though, so that's a good sign. Um, maybe I should just, like, step out onto the roof and see what's going on. I see, but like I'm too paranoid because this is the most likely way that they'll get up. So really, I should be chilling here and trying to smash any zombies that maybe uh, get close to this. I'm also really paranoid about standing on the stairs there because I feel like they'll. Uh, oh my god, there could still be sleepers in here too. It's so unnerving the sounds that are being made. Whew, okay, I think we're going to get through. It is 3.30, so it looks like we'll make it through this night. Um, where's my torch? Gotta know where your torches are. I don't hear any dogs. That's pretty encouraging. 
And it is daytime. We made it. We made it through another one. All right. So, with that being said, it's time to start cleaning this place out. Um, those zombies are just going to have to chill down there and make all kinds of noise and scare me all, all uh, afternoon because I can't afford to take the time to go down there and get them. Although it does... Wait, is there a zombie in the freaking wall? That zombie just died, too. Weird. Um, okay. Man, not good loot in this place so far. Is there something in the floor? Purse. It's something. Lockpicks. Alright, I see a fridge. Are we going to get anything? No, but there's food on top of the fridge. That's usually what I do with my fridge. I bring home groceries, and then I keep them all on the top of the fridge. Look, I'm not dealing with your bullshit. I'm not healthy. I need to eat. Okay, is he dead? Whoa. Where did that come from? Oh, shit. Didn't even realize the ceiling was open. Alright, are we good? We just got another level. Let's go ahead and put that in to... Um, lucky looter? Yeah, it's time to go lucky looter. So we'll get another uh, attribute level. Oh my god, the sounds. I'm. Um, like, okay, um, if you've ever read, like, the zombie. Uh, oh, what is it? It's Max. Is it Max Planck? No, is that right? Max Planck, who made the zombie survival guide, the book? Um, he, he mentions, like, the zombies having a real, like, psychological effect on people. Like, so even if you're in a safe area it you know like think about the sounds those zombies are making and how unbearable that would be like you're listening to that all night all day right like that sound constantly and you know why they're making that sound they're, they're making that sound because they want to eat your fucking brains dude like that's not a small deal i just got a helmet light mod that's incredible and assassin gloves that's a good armor rating 45 caliber weaponry uh we got a chicken ration i got some vitamins oh man three first aid kits those are an item that goes on the bar uh primitive gloves are getting scrapped Whew. okay so um yeah like i that's one thing that goes like understated like the the whole psychological effect of uh holy crap i have a lot of high-end metal the, the psychological effect of, like, just huddling here all night while those zombie sounds are made, right? Because, like, how the fuck are you supposed to sleep? Like, I couldn't even walk away from the stairs because I was too afraid they were going to break their way, uh, you know, break, break them down and climb up. I mean, it depends which zombie type you're looking at, I suppose, but, uh, alright, there's no way in hell I'm going down inside of the house. If you get into tight areas with zombies, that tends to be a bad time. Let's see how much damage was done down here, and clean out these zombies, and then hopefully we'll be in good shape. Oh, yes, loot bags. That's what I want to see. We're getting stronger now. We are getting stronger. The Take 50% damage from collapsing mines. Okay, that's, I don't know, I'm not going to be in the mines hopefully too often, but... All right, good. With uh, a few levels under our belt, we will be getting a bit stronger, and... The helmet flashlight mod is insane to get. Like, oh, that is easily one of the best things we could have got. Now we have a flashlight, and uh, now I'll keep my torch, but I'll probably end up putting it on a wall at some point and then, like, leaving it there, um, just purely because I'll forget about it. But, uh, okay, let's. this is what we need is the kitchen. Oh, man, two cans of tuna. Anything in behind the dog picture? Oh. My dog will probably come running now because I said dog several times, and I keep saying dog. Okay, now I'm disappointed. I feel like my dog isn't paying attention at all. Okay, we're take those coins. That is worth the inventory space, just in case I come across... Mm, son of a bitch! Just in case I come across a vending machine, I want enough coins to be able to buy stuff. I'm going to take all the stinky water I can get for now because we do have vitamins. And... Um, I do have a certain amount of passive healing, so even if we're forced to eat crappy food, um, we, you know, we we can regenerate our health slowly to to recover. 
So it's not quite as bad as it otherwise would be. Uh, what do we got here? Increased projectile speed. Okay, that's for shotguns. Looks like there's a basement here as well. So we'll, we'll check that out in a second. There's also a barn. So we've got still quite a bit more to go here. Let's turn my flashlight on so you can see what's going on. Uh, a little bit of coffee. Not what I'm looking to have right now. The fridge is searchable. It's just got bones in it. Uh, terrifying. I'm going to assume those are not human bones. A cooking grill. I will take a cooking grill because I might get the chance to do some cooking at some point. Um, I should probably set up next time I get the chance. Uh, next time I'm like set up for a night and try to like cook my uh, my raw meat. Uh, but I say it's it's real. What am I doing? Um, it's really hard to take the time to do stuff like that. Just because, look, I would jump down through the opening in the floor, but I'm too afraid there's still zombies down there. It's this. Oh, yay, foul trash. That's where I keep my garbage in the foundation of my house. All right, see, this is why I didn't go through the floor, because now I can just walk down in, and that way if there's sleepers still, like this guy, he doesn't get the drop on me. We got some food. Uh, food crafting and some peas. Is that peas or pears? It's... It's pears. I had to read the can. I can't tell the difference, okay? We've, we've already been through this. Uh, in fact, I should eat multiples of those. And, uh, you know what? Actually, that gives me health. I'm hesitant to eat stuff that gives me health when I don't need it. But, okay, my food is okay for the time being. So we're going to leave it like it is in case I get punched. That way I can, like, eat uh, food to heal rather than... Oh, my God, the day's almost over again. Uh, I can eat food to heal rather than just eat food to uh, to fill up my food meter. Um, how tough is this barn? This house is far from falling down, of course. Um, you know what? This house is really far from falling down. So, as much as I hate to do it, we're going to spend uh, two nights in the same place, I think. Oh, shit, where are the stairs? There they are. Uh... But up, but we'll just go here like that, like that. All right, day six, another horde night. We're in substantially better condition than we have been in the past. Let's go up in the attic. Um, we'll add another layer to this. We'll go in the attic, and we're gonna chop this ladder off. Um, yep, we are not playing around with having the zombies get up here just in case they do punch their way up the stairs. I ain't having it. Um. And, you know what? Let's see. Can I make a campfire? I can make duct tape. That could be really useful. Uh, campfire. Let's craft it up. Let's see if we can get anything done uh, over the course of the night where we're not downstairs and we're not defending the uh, stairwell. Maybe, just maybe, I can uh, make anything at all. Let's, let's find out. Where is my wood? There it is. All right. Now, does this show me anything that I can make? Okay, I would have been able to make baked potatoes. I should be collecting eggs. I don't have water. Um, and I can't make water. Ears of corn. Okay, so corn is a... is Potatoes and corn are two that I can make without any other uh, ingredients. Oh, and I don't even have enough for one charred meat. Okay, so that's a little disappointing, we'll say. It's a touch disappointing, but all in all, um, let's read this treasure map. Yeah, let's do it. Um, I wonder how good treasures are. Should I go treasure hunting when I'm playing this mode? I don't know. Um, it's 500 meters away. I think I still got more to do. All right, so while we're here, let's check our items. Uh, so club, that can be made into a level two. So let's go ahead and we'll modify this. Fortifying Grip Mod is amazing. That was such a good find. All right, let's modify the new one. Put a Fortifying Grip on. Complete. All right. So now we will scrap the old one and put the new one in place. Now let's check our um, axe. Our stone axe. It's level four. Holy crap. That is substantially better. Uh, okay, and we'll modify this. We'll take our fortifying grip off of that. Put it... Nope, not what I wanted. There we go. Uh, just complete that. Now, modify this. Grip mod goes on. 
Um, serrated blade, I don't really want to put that on uh, my stone axe, so that is going to not go on it for now. Although, wait, no, it will up the damage of it, which I assume will affect block damage? Yes, it does. Okay, that's great. Alright. Uh, not as, probably not as good as, like, the wood splitter mod for it, but, um, I'll take it. Alright, and is there anything I don't need to carry? Uh, boiling eggs takes water, so I'm not gonna need those. These take water away from me when I eat them. Bones I don't need. This hammer, I don't know if I need the hammer. My level 4 axe does better block damage anyway. Alright, and that's the night gone. Alright, so that's some pretty decent upgrades. Let's do a time check. That's going to be... Here, I'll hit escape. Just to put things on pause. That's going to be the end of this one. Alright, so we, we're we on day 7. This is the day we died in the previous run. So I'm hoping to, uh, you know, set a new high point. I can't recall. I think we made it through 5 sessions. Uh, so we must have been on like day uh, 15 or so on the best run so far. I think the farthest I've made it doing this is day 44. Uh, but we ended up kind of calling it quits because that was in multiplayer and it was starting to kill the the ability of the game uh, to to run because there were so many zombies. Um, anyway, you know, if you like what I'm doing here, press subscribe, ideally, right? Uh, hit the like button if you want to just give my channel a little nudge. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, yeah, and otherwise, if you got any tips, hints, tricks, you think there's anything I'm really overlooking, something I could do to help myself out, you let me know about it. Come on. Let's let's uh, let's have fun with this. Let's have some fun on the internet. So, this is Game Horde Game. I am Poob. You have yourselves a good one.